TSA just graded my pulls from the 200K special. What's up guys, we're back with another epic PSA return video and we got back our pulls from the different 200k specials we did like the LOB first dead openings, the IOC first dead opening and the retro pack two opening and the big 200 pack opening. So if you've not seen those videos yet, go check them out right now so you don't get spoiled on what we pull, but there were some really, really good pulls in there. Hopefully we got some tins. Before we get into it, we do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this PSA 10 Korean Trihorn Dragon Prismatic Secret Rare. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Will we get any tins at this return and what is your favorite card? Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh makes mealtime easy by delivering pre-portioned ingredients to your doorstep. HelloFresh is cheaper than groceries and 25% cheaper than takeout. And not only that, you don't have to go to the grocery store or to take out and you have your food. And once you grab it from your doorstep, you only have to spend a little bit of time in the kitchen. Some meals take only 15 minutes. You don't have to be a pro in the kitchen to make HelloFresh meals. I personally am not a pro in the kitchen. Okay, I didn't make these, Chelsea made them, but let's say I did make them, it's easy to make for people like me who don't really cook. And also HelloFresh provides 40 recipes and 100 seasonal convenience items each week. I tried the one pan cheesy black bean tacos and they were delicious. So you're never gonna get tired of HelloFresh because you can, I mean, unless you're eating these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I mean, you could do that. It'd only be 21 unless you're eating repeats. I mean, you're not eating repeats. You're still only eating half of the meals each week. So you're gonna have a lot of options. So if this sounds interesting to you, click the link down below and use my code POGRUXON, J-U-L-50 to get 50% off your first box. Oh, and there's free shipping too. So that's cool. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. All right, we've gotten the cards out. We have only a five card return today, so it's not absolutely massive, but these are all massive pulls that we've had recently. So we're just gonna go one at a time. We do have a pre-grade. We're gonna see if I was right on any of those. We'll have them popping up on the screen. Let's start off with the first card. Here we go. We're just gonna go in order, I think. Wait, no, these aren't in order. I got the lowest cert first. Let's do that. Uh, the back of this one, see if I can figure out which card is which. They're all old, so it's gonna be like, I can't say, oh, it's a new card. Looks pretty good, whatever it is. Definitely looks older. I can't tell if this is an LOB card or not. Corners look pretty good. Corners look okay. All right, let's see if we can cover it up. We have, okay, polymerization. It is an LOB card. We have a wavy first dead polymerization that we pulled out of a heavy pack. How does this thing look? So there is a, okay, so this is a wavy poly, which is really, really cool. Uh, there is a little bit of a warp to this card. As you guys can see, it, it's not like super warped, but it ha does have a little bend to it. Uh, usually doesn't matter too much in PSA grading from my experience, but we'll see if it does. The card looks pretty nice overall. Let's get it out of, out of here. The back. Uh, there's a little bit of scuffing if you guys can see that, but it's kind of a normal thing for wavy. They tend to have that. Corners appear to be pretty good. Corners are looking nice there. It's centering is pretty good. Slightly pushed that way, but it's not terrible. I think it has a chance at a PSA 10. It's not perfect. I mean, it's absolutely not perfect. It's a little warped. It has slight, slight scuffing on the back. I want to be optimistic and say 10. I think realistically, I should probably predict nine. That's what I'm going to predict. I think there's a very good shot at a 10 though, which is why I'm sending it in. And I do not own this in a PSA 10. So I really hope that I'm right. Well, I guess I'd be wrong because I said nine, but hope that I'm wrong then. How about that? Centering looks slightly pushed that way. I think I predicted a nine on this, but we'll find out. Uh, hopefully we get a 10, but you never know. Corners, yeah, centering is definitely not perfect. That's what's gonna do us in if something does. Look at the surface of that thing. That thing looks beautiful. Polymerization. All right, LOB first, Ed. I think I predicted a nine, but you guys will see what I did here. I feel like it's a nine, let's see. Oh, it's a 10, let's go! All right, it is a 10. That is super cool. I do not have this card in my collection for LOB, so. Hey, that's a big win. I was worried that the centering, I think it might be a little slanted. It gets a little bit worse when it goes to the top. I was worrying this would be uh, like too bad, but but not looking at it, it's really, yeah, it's probably about 60, 40, which is about the borderline. Then it, as it goes lower, it looks a little better. So that is super cool. I've never had luck grading LOB. So I think this is only my second PSA 10 from a pack that I've opened from LOB. And we've graded like 15, 16, 17 hollows. So I'm like two out of whatever now. So, hey, that's a huge start. I'm super excited for that. That's going in the collection. Uh, my very small LOB PSA 10 collection. Been working on it for years and I think we had like six or seven hollows. All right, that makes me think this is probably the Flame Swordsman. Okay, if that one got a 10, then I'm feeling a lot better about the Flame Swordsman because they were very similar condition. Uh, okay, cool. I'm, I'm pretty sure I predicted nine on these. Might have said 10, maybe it was a little optimistic. I can't remember. There's maybe some slight scuffing on the back. I can't really tell through the case. Got corners look pretty similar. The problem is these little, uh, this little thing. There we go. Yeah, if you move it a little bit, you can see that better. Okay. Problem is it's always got this thing in the way. Maybe is there a little corner issue right there? Maybe, maybe right there as well. Let's see. 
Okay, this is the Flame Swordsman. All right, this would be a huge dent. Oh, something on the something on the case, it looks like. Here's our second LOB, technically our first LOB. I recorded this one first. The Flame Swordsman Super Rare. So we've had some great luck with supers out of LOB recently. Uh, this is also a wavy card, so it is really... Oh, yeah, you can really see it there. If you don't know what wavy is, you guys see how the cardstock is a little bit wavy? I know, yeah, that's kind of what it means a little bit. You know, it kind of ripples across the surface. It's pretty nice looking. Really, really nice looking card. Centering is pretty nice on this. Very similar to the poly. It's a little bit to the right, but it's not too bad. Corners appear to be pretty good. There's more scuffing on this card. You can see there's scuffing there, scuffing in the middle. That makes me think this one really probably doesn't even realistically have much of a 10 chance. Uh, I think this still will probably get a nine in this condition. I think this one is probably a nine. And then with the, looking at this one, if this gets a nine, I think Polly should probably get a 10. But I'm going to predict nine for both of them because, you know, they both have their issues. I think this is a really nice card and it could probably even I mean, I don't think an eight would be fair. I think a nine is probably right. Eight is probably a little bit too harsh, but I'm going to go nine for the prediction on that one as well. Wavy first edition Flame Swordsman. That is beautiful. Wow. That looks so good. All right, Flame Swordsman. Centering looks, it looks better on this one than the other one. Uh, that, we gotta get that off. Oh, okay. I'm hoping for a 10. Let's see if we can get another one. An eight, what in the world? <laughs> An eight and a 10. I mean, that's better than two nines, to be honest, but why? Okay, I gotta get this off. Okay, I've been working on it somewhat coming off, but I got to keep uh, working on it a little bit more. I think it'll eventually come off. But okay, eight on this. I mean, the corner down here is not awesome. I'm trying to figure out if maybe the scuffing on the back too. I think that might be scuffing in the middle. Ouch. And, now, and eight's pretty rough on that. Pack fresh, LOB. I mean, but pack fresh really doesn't mean anything. You got to remember that. You can open a pack and it can be damaged. Many people have done it, especially with the Konami's quality control these days. You know, you might pull a bent card out of, the, out of the pack. So it doesn't necessarily mean anything. I don't remember it being an eight, but whoa, was that it? Oh, wait, maybe that's it. Was that there? That Nick? I don't remember seeing that. Is that a Nick at the top? That makes sense. If that has a nick up there, I think that I think that we might have a, a little bit of damage going here. Oh, I don't remember that on the on the raw card, but we have the video of the raw card. So I guess if it was there, maybe I missed it. You guys can let me know in the comments. That happens a lot where I'm like, whoa, this wasn't here. And then you guys are like, actually, if you look in the pre video, you can see it. So that might happen this time. But uh, yeah, unfortunate. I'll still take an eight and a 10, though. It's not like the worst ever. Why am I not doing this? There we go. All right. That hurts a little bit, but we got some other big cards coming up. Uh, so we got a couple big ones. Let's see. What is this one going to be? I don't remember the fifth card. I know we have Black Cluster Soldier and we have Harpy, Harpy's Pet Dragon. So those are coming up. This one looks like I don't know what this one is. This could be the Harpy's Pet Dragon. Looks pretty clean on the back, which makes me think it might be. The corners look eh, pretty good, I think. Yeah, not terrible. That that top left one's not the best, but oh, Dimension Fusion. Right. IOC. Yeah. OK, I set this thing in because it was pretty clean. Next up, we have Dimension Fusion from our 200K box opening. IOC first edition. So this thing looks pretty good. Centering on this is also really, really nice. It's the same thing. It's pushed a little bit right. It's a different set. Still the same centering. Pretty crazy. Corners look pretty good from what I can tell. Back looks really clean. There is a print line right there, if you guys can see that. Uh, the rest of it, though, pretty good. I mean, a little bit of scuffing, but usually that doesn't take off too hard. Corners appear to be pretty good on this card. Really good, actually. They look really nice. So this thing is probably a 10 candidate. It also, I mean, it still has some stuff wrong with it. Same reason I, you know, with the LOB, this thing is not warped though. So I think it has, I mean, I don't think warping matters that much, but it could factor in if the card's close. I am going to go with a 10 because it, it has a little bit on the back, but if the only thing is the back, you know, like a print line and a little bit of like, not even really scuffing. It's just like pa it came out of the pack like that. I think that thing has a 10 chance. I could see it getting a nine, but I think 10 would be fair. Can we get a 10 from IOC? I'd love to, I'd rather it be on the BLS, but I'd take both, you know, that'd be cool. Here we go. Dimension Fusion. Oh, Another eight. Come on, man. I don't see anything on this one. Wait, what happened? I mean, is it like bent or something? Bent would probably be a seven. What's it? What is an eight here? What am I missing? What am I missing? I don't know what I'm missing. Oh, no. Centering? No, centering's good. Is that corner bit maybe? It always looks like that, but that's just like usually just the reflection. I don't know. I'm baffled by that one. This one at least seems like it has a nick. That one, I, I don't know about that one, but maybe there's something in the pre-grade that I missed. All right, I'm guessing this is the BLS then. Please don't be an eight. I think it is the BLS based on that really faint dot right there. That's definitely the BLS. That, that makes me worried that we can't get a 10. It's very slight, but you know, it, it's something, you know, it, it exists on the card. Also, we've been getting eight, so I'm not really sure. And then the one that we've really been waiting for, the black 
lackluster soldier envoy of the beginning centering as you can tell same little bit to the right but not really bad enough to take off for that i think the rest of the card's really clean then we have or the rest of the i mean the centering is good enough that i don't know i just said clean it's not actually what i meant okay <laughs> corners look good we can actually look at it and see if it's clean so there is that in the middle it has that little dot couple of dots down here i mean it has a couple things on the back the corners look great this is a great condition card like it's a really really nice condition for a card that dot is just so noticeable that's the problem like as soon as you look at the back you see that dot on the back and like it's not even bad you know it's like a tiny little thing i would try and get it off i don't really know if it can come off but i mean that's the only thing wrong with it i think it'll probably get a nine because of that though uh bls centering okay how the corner is looking come on bls be a 10 for it we already have a 10 but i mean this would be a cool one to have because i actually pulled it come on baby blackluster soldier on with the beginning we pulled this in the IOC box, it was crazy. What is this down? What? It's the same spot as the Flame Swordsman. What is going on with these slabs? Oh, that's annoying. Okay, what else? Do we... Now I'm just hoping it's not an eight. Okay, come on, let's see. Oh, why are they all eights? Are you kidding me? This is insane. What is an eight? I'm so confused. What did I miss? I mean, this is obviously there. So there's something like... It's not like a perfect card, but what? It, like the corner is bad? What am I missing? I think I predicted a nine on this, but an eight is a little low. I have no idea. Plus this, plus this. This is making me frustrated right now. All right, I tried. Didn't have a lot of luck there. So uh, three eights and a 10. Okay, maybe maybe I didn't want three eights and a 10. I mean, one eight and one 10 was fine. All right, Harpy's Pet Dragon. This thing, I thought this thing was a 10, but now I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure what's gonna happen here. This thing was really clean. I don't know what we're getting docked for on those last two. So maybe I missed it here as well. And then finally we have our retro pack to Harpy Pet Dragon that we pulled in the 200 pack opening. What an awesome opening that was. Secret rare from retro pack two. Look at these retro pack two secret rares. Beautiful, looks awesome. Uh, centering is immaculate on this. This is like one of the best centered cards. Definitely the best centered card of these five right here. Uh, back looks really good. I mean, there's like, I mean, there's a little scuff right there, kind of like the BLS, but not as noticeable. Corners look really crazy on this card. Like this card is minty. I think that this card is a 10. I'm going to predict a 10 on it. We're not even going to go too in depth on it just because this card looks absolutely incredible looking at it. I mean, there's some slight back scuffing, but the card's not really warped. Centering's perfect. Corners look great. I mean, it's just a couple of back scratches. This, not even scratches, that's a strong word. Back like scuffs, I guess you would call it. Like very, very, very slight. I think this is a PSA 10. I'm gonna predict it right now and I'm gonna be really happy PSA when you give me the 10. Uh, yeah, I'm scared, I'm scared. Harpy's Pet, just be a 10. I'll be happy if these two are 10s, even if those three eights, I'll be really happy if this is a 10. This is the one I you know, really wanted as a 10. The centering's pretty good. Surface is super clean. Corners look good. Come on, Harpy's Pet Dragon, do it for us. Be a 10. Let me, let me uh, check the back again. Corners, I mean, even the corners look solid. I mean, this is a really nice retro pack card. Okay, here we go. Let's reveal it. Come on, be a 10. This card was so clean. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know what you need to be a 10. I don't know. I just don't know. This card was way cleaner than this card, in my opinion. This card was cleaner than this card. That's a 10. This is not. I don't get it. That is an unfortunate return right there. Very unfortunate. I mean, we got a 10, so it's not the worst. Like we could have gone like, you know, two nines and three eights or something. But this card was super, super clean. I'm not sure what I missed. Oh, what a bummer. All right. You know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, these will probably be, end up being in my binder instead of, uh, you know, in at PSA 8 slabs. This I feel like it's a 10. Maybe we'll give it another shot at some point, And then this one will be in the collection. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Hey guys, Future Ruxin here to uh, transition from Sad Ruxin. We just kind of had a rough PSA sub and I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but I have contacted PSA and they have uh, allowed me to send that Flame Swordsman back to them and they're gonna review it. So I don't know how this works. I've never actually had a card reviewed because I've never had a card that they act I thought they actually damaged before. And I'm pretty sure they did here based on what I saw. So I think if they review it and they see like that, you know, previously it wasn't damaged. Now there's a little nick up top. I think they'll compensate me for that, but we're going to see what happens. I'm not really sure because I've never been through this process before. It is a huge bummer because I really need that card in PSA 10. When the poly got a 10, you think that that one would have gotten a 10. 
He did have some stuff on the back, so maybe we would have got a nine, but it's never fun to have your high-end card damage, but I can say that this is the first time in, according to my playlist on YouTube, before this video, I have 57 PSA returns. So we've done a lot of PSA returns on this channel, and I've never noticed anything like this before where they've like chipped the top of my card or anything. So it is good that that hasn't happened before. It's unfortunate that it happened now. So hopefully we get it back, it all gets resolved. And uh, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a follow-up on that and uh, just ended out on a slightly happier note because I don't, I haven't seen the video yet because it hasn't been edited, but I'm pretty sure I was depressed the whole time. So hopefully I sound a little bit happier now, but you know, we'll see what happens with it. And uh, that's some risk, you know, when people are grading your cards, sometimes there will be damage. I mean, that's just how it goes. It's a, it's a big company, so I expect that it's gonna happen. I'm not happy with it, but you gotta accept that it's probably gonna happen at some point if you do send your cards. So that's fine. Um, hopefully it goes well, and thank you guys for watching the video. Shout out to Tom Flow Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Miss Cycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.